everyone, today we'll be making a Tres Leches cake. This cake was absolutely awesome, so let's get started with the video so I can show you guys how to make it. In two separate bowls, separate six eggs. When you're finished separating your eggs, take the bowl with the egg yolks and with an electric mixer, beat your egg yolks while gradually adding in 3 fourths cup of sugar. After you've added your sugar, keep beating the eggs and sugar together until your mixture has become thick and a pale yellow color. Scrape the sides of your bowl and then add a half a cup of whole milk and 3 fourths teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat all your ingredients together until well combined. When you're finished, set your mixture to the side. Next, beat your egg whites on high speed. When your egg whites are nice and frothy, gradually add in 1 fourth cup of sugar. Continue to beat your egg whites until stiff. You'll know your egg whites are ready when you can form stiff peaks. Now get your bowl with the egg mixture and add your egg whites into that bowl. Fold both mixtures together. So a little warning before you start making this translegic cake, when you fold in the egg whites your arms will burn. It takes a while to fold in the egg whites completely, so my arms got tired, so your arms might get tired. Unless you exercise. But I have noodle arms. Okay, so when you finish folding in your egg whites, set that to the side. In a separate bowl, sift one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and fold everything together. When you're finished folding everything together, set your bowl to the side. Next, grease a 9 by 13 pan and then pour your cake batter inside. There are a few egg whites that didn't completely fold in, so I'm going to gently mix that into the batter.
Now we are going to bang the pan on the kitchen counter. When you're finished, place your pan in the oven at 350 degrees and cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. When your cake has finished baking, poke it with a toothpick to make sure it's done. If your toothpick comes out clean, your cake is done. Place your cake on a cooling rack and then let it cool completely. This might take up to 30 minutes to an hour. While your cake is cooling, mix together 1 can or 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk, 1 can or 12 ounces of evaporated milk, a half a cup of heavy cream, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. When you're finished, set your milk mixture to the side. Now that your cake has cooled, begin poking holes into your cake with a fork. When you're finished, pour your milk mixture on top of your cake. Focus on the sides a bit more than the middle since the sides don't absorb the milk as fast as the middle does. When you're finished, cover the pan in plastic wrap and place in the fridge for 4 hours or overnight. Next, we're going to make our whipped cream. In a large bowl, add 2 cups of heavy cream. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a half a cup of sugar. Or one third cup of sugar if you don't like your whipped cream too sweet. Then, with an electric mixer, beat all your ingredients together on high speed until your whipped cream is nice and fluffy. When you finish making your whipped cream, you can now begin decorating your cake. Take your cake out of the fridge and using a spatula, evenly spread your whipped cream all over the cake. This is optional, but you can also sprinkle some cinnamon over your cake. It tastes really good, so I totally recommend doing it. Using some of the whipped cream, I added these little swirls. And then I cut up some strawberry fans and placed them on top of the swirls as decoration. And this is the finished result! This cake was delicious. This cake was so good. It did not last very long in our house. We devoured it. The hardest part of making the cake was folding in the egg whites. Other than that, it was pretty simple. Oh, and the cake isn't soggy at all if you're worried about that. It was moist, sweet, and delicious.
Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, this is a quick lesson on how to make strawberry fans. Cut thin vertical lines down the bottom of your strawberry. Make sure not to cut completely through your strawberry. Leave a small portion near the hull of the strawberry still attached. Then simply spread out your slices. And that's it! You've made a strawberry fan. I hope this little tutorial helps. Alright, that's seriously the end of the video. Bye!